So now we're going to have another look at the perpendicular distance between a line and a point. Uh, we're going to look a little bit deeper at the formula, so there's more things you can do than simply just getting the distance between a line and a point. It can also give you information about the point in the line. So for example, this one here we have, our purple line drawn here. We have a yellow dot here, and we have a red dot here. So we have our two distances, they're going to be different. Uh, we're going to use the same formula to calculate them. Calculate them. Uh, so for example, this d here, uh, I'll just write that quickly, it's going to be ax1 plus by1 plus c, all divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared, yeah? So say, for example, we get our answer as plus 25 all divided by 5. If we do the same for the red one, we're going to find d is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c, all divided by, again, it's the square root of a squared plus b squared. This time our answer is going to be minus 30 over 5. So the modulus will get rid of the plus or minus. It's going to make it the same anyway because we're looking for a distance. But what if we're looking for which side of the point the line is on? So obviously here we can tell because we have a picture of it. We won't always be able to tell. So basically because this is minus and this is plus, that tells us they're on opposite sides of the line. Okay, so I'll write that down. So opposite sides of line. And that's interesting. So it's interesting mainly because if they ask it in the leaving cert, you'll really want to know it. Um, in real life, I don't know when it's going to be used, but anyway, you, it's something you definitely need to know that um, depending on the side, on the sign, sorry, in front of the number here, uh, it'll tell you which side it's on. So it doesn't tell you that minus means it's underneath and plus means it's on top. It just tells you if they're on opposite or similar sides of the line. Okay, so we're going to look at a quick example now. So here we have our example there, I scribbled out. Um, so it's asking us, say which of these points are on the same side of the line and which are on opposite sides. So here's our line here, we have the equation of the line, x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. And then we have three points here, so we have to say which one of these are on the same side, which one of these are on opposite sides. And the way we're going to do that is just by using this formula here and observing is it a plus or is it a minus. So. Um, I guess I'll start with just number eight. So I'll do this in purple. So well, actually, first I'm going to label these. So I'm going to say here that a is equal to one because that's the number before the x. There's nothing before the x. B is equal to two, and c is equal to minus four. Yeah. Um, and each case I'm going to have to have a different x one, y one, uh, etc. So I'll just this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write a, which is five and three. So that means this is going to be x1 and this is going to be y1 in this case and I'm just going to write out the formula once so I'm going to write d is equal to a x1 plus b y1 plus c all divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared so now I said you have to write it out every time but for a case like this uh, you wouldn't have to write it out every time just because it's um three times in a row all right so I'll go uh, I'll go green for this one so we're finding D is equal to, so A is 1, okay, so 1, uh, I'm sorry, X1 is going to be 5 in this case, plus B is going to be 2, by Y1, which is going to be 3, and then plus C is going to be minus 4. That's all divided by A squared plus B squared, which is 1 squared plus 2 squared, 1 squared plus 2 squared. So D is going to be equal to 5 plus 6 minus 4 divided by root 5, which is going to be equal to 7 divided by root 5. Okay, so take notice of that, that that's a plus. So I'm just going to write plus here for A. Actually, I'll write it over here. This is plus. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to do the same for B. I'll go red for this. So here we have B now is 1 and 1. So now we're going to have our X1 and our Y1 are here. And I'll go yellow. So we're going to say D is equal to A, which is going to be 1 again. And X1, which is 1, plus B, which is still 2, and uh, Y1, which is 1, and then minus 4, divided by... 1 squared plus 2 squared. D is going to be 1 plus 2 
minus 4 divided by root 5. So that means d is equal to minus 1 divided by root 5. So this here is a minus. Yes, there's a minus number here. This means that a and b are on opposite sides of the line. Uh, and now we have to find out about c. Okay. Hopefully I can squeeze c in the bottom here. Um, I will put c in orange. So I'm going to say c, which is, let me just, minus 2 and 3. Minus 2 and 3. Uh, we're going to say d is equal to, oh, sorry, that should be a modulus. So it's going to be 1 by minus 2 plus 2 by 3 minus 4, all divided by square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. So d is equal to 1 by minus 2 is going to be minus 2. Uh, 2 by 3 is going to be plus 6 and then minus 4, all divided by root 5. We're going to find out that it's 0 divided by root 5, and that's just 0. Okay, so what does that mean? It means the distance between this point and the line is 0, and that means, let's say the point is on the line. The point is on the line, yeah? So if you see something like that, you get a bit confused, and um, we'll, we'll check over your answer just in case, because it's likely you would have made a mistake, but uh, they could also ask it like that, and just, you have to realize that it means the point is on the line, and you're not looking for a distance at all, okay? So we now we know that A and B are on opposite sides of the line, and that the point C is on the line. So that's our question answered there, uh, and they're the kind of questions they could ask you on, uh, I guess, the perpendicular distance between a point and a line, but relative to which side of the line two points are on, yeah? Two or three points are on. So hopefully that all made sense, and again, it's always just about the plus or the minus there. I hope that made sense and we'll see in the next time we're going to look at one more uh, probably the most difficult example you're going to see on this type of question see you then